I'm always reporting bad news, I mean bankruptcies, layoffs, closures, but guess what? Today I got some good news. Did you know that the cost of running a mile is actually decreasing? Let me explain. The current national average for a diesel in the US right now is sitting at about $3.40 per gallon. I mean, that's amazing. Nice and they're anticipating that it's gonna go down even more. Some people are actually predicting that it's gonna go down to about $2.50 a gallon. But let's analyze a little bit more in detail what that actually does to the cost per mile. So in today's video, we're gonna be comparing last year's cost for diesel versus this year's cost for diesel and what that actually equates to cents per mile. All right, so here's a chart. On the left-hand side, you have the price per gallon. So you can see this is my chart from last year and I've actually reported two years ago when the price was about $5 per gallon, $4.75 per gallon. So now when looking at this chart, I had to make a new one because the price is going down further and further below $3.75 per gallon. But the way that I read this chart is basically on the top hand side, you have the different types of trucks. And then you have, you know, the flat nose trucks that are getting probably about 5.5 and six miles per gallon. And then it gets more and more into the aerodynamic and the newer trucks. So for example, here at ET Transport, our brand new Cascadias are probably running between eight and 8.5 miles per gallon as an average for our fleet. Now, a lot of you don't believe me, so I will log into my analytics and I'll show you this. The cost we used to spend, I mean, when last year this time, the, the price of the gallon was $4.50 per gallon. We're gonna compare ET transport trucks and we're gonna compare the national average, which is probably sitting more at around 6.5 miles per gallon, which is what I hear when I consult other fleets and when I consult other owner operators. And the cost of running a mile last year was about 55 to 58 cents per mile. Okay, remember that number, okay? We're gonna reverse one year where the average was $4.50 per gallon. So my fleet is currently running at about 55 cents per mile, where the average of what I see out there of trucks running at six and a half miles per gallon are probably around 70 cents per mile. This is what it used to cost last year. Now, let's go into my new chart. Boy, am I excited about this. You can see here, national average is probably hovering between $3.25 and $3.50. Now, some people are finding fuel a lot cheaper, but still, these are the national averages posted. So we're gonna take these numbers and we're gonna pretend that the national average is around the $3.25 per gallon right now. So if I am running my trucks at eight miles per gallon, my average is probably gonna be around 41 cents. Whereas most fleets out there and a lot of owner operators out there are probably going to be running at 54 cents. This time last year, the majority of the people out there that have a truck that the fuel consumption is about six and a half miles per gallon, they used to pay 70 cents per mile on diesel, and now they're paying 54 cents per mile on diesel. That's a difference of 16 cents per mile. Now, if somebody is saving 16 cents per mile, multiply that by 11,000 miles, which is, is what a lot of the long haul drivers do, that's 1,760 cents per month per truck. Now, if you multiply, if a small fleet owner had, you know, 10 trucks, that's $17,000 a month. Now, if you multiply that by 12, that's about $211,000 a year. So this is huge a really, really big savings. Now, even that owner operator, $1,700 can change, make it or break it, whether they're in the negative or whether they're just breaking even now, or if they're also coming out at a positive. Now, let's look at ET Transport and a little bit of you know medium-sized fleets, just so you guys can see how big of a difference this makes for us fleet owners. We used to pay 55 cents per mile on diesel, and now we're paying 41 cents per mile on diesel. That's 14 cents difference. So if I take 14 cents and I multiply that by 11,000 miles, that's $1,500 per truck per month. Now, if I multiply that by 100 power units, okay, that's $154,000 per month on a fleet our size. Multiply that by 12, well, that's $1.8 million just with the fuel savings right now. Now, if the fuel is gonna go down to even 250 a gallon, well, guess what? That's a lot more money into fleet owners' pockets, which means that we'd be able to come out of the red and maybe go into the green. Now, that's a fleet of 100 power units. What's to say about fleets with 200, 300, 400, 500 power units? These numbers are significant, okay? I promised you that I'm gonna show you my analytics Uno momento, please. Okay, so on the left-hand side, you see the power units that we have. I just took a stat of September 1st to September 20th. We got three trucks in the nine miles per gallon. You got another one, two, three, and then you can see 
see here on the left hand side as the most fuel efficient truck to the least fuel efficient truck. So we're on page number one and we're well over the eight miles per gallon. Let's go into page number two. Now page number two, you still have the eight, 8.2, 8.5, 8.1, 8.1, 8.1. So we are two out of six and I'm still on over eight miles per gallon. You can see here the trucks are at eight, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9. And then usually page number four, five and six are more of the owner operators. So they are going into seven, seven, seven. These are still our fleets. And then page number five is probably more of the owner operators where you can see that it's going down well under seven, 6.9, 6.9. So it doesn't matter how much I talk to the owner operators. Some of them are, you know, they love their old school Pete's. They love their old school Kenworths, but I mean, they want to spend an extra $1,500 a month on fuel, then, you know, be my guest. But there you go. You have my analytics, you have our trucks, you have our stats. You can see, you know, page number one and page number two are well over the eight miles per gallon. That's why I'm saying our fleet average is about 8.5 miles per gallon. Before this video, I took eight miles per gallon because if I would have said 8.5, then a lot of you would not believe me. But you have the numbers. You can see what a big difference. Finally, some great news. I mean, this is amazing news because now we can finally start hopefully now we just need an uptick in freight rates and we will be golden follow me on this journey follow me on this uh, you know this never-ending battle with freight rates but I have a feeling that we are finally at the bottom and it's only going to go better from here I'm Ronan and I'll catch you in my next video